Hey guys, welcome back to Zixal TV. This is Karthik. Today, I am going to introduce something interesting. Yes, it's nothing but a tech show. You will be getting technology related information videos weekly ones with the title of Zixal Tech. Okay, let's go with the today's topic what I have for you guys. In this video, we are going to see the Windows 11 preview with the 11 features which we are most excited for. Microsoft Windows 11 is the next generation operating system and we are expecting the official reveal during the upcoming June 24th what's next for Windows event. Ok, let's start with the 11 features. The new start menu, taskbar and search. The first thing that stood out to us in Windows 11 is the new start menu. Microsoft is now pushing the start menu to the center, so you can still move it to the left if you want. That alone is a big change, but the design is different. Instead of featuring live tiles and a long list of apps, the Windows 11 start menu shows you pinned apps and your most recent files. It makes getting to the things you want to use easy with minimal distraction, and it is quite refreshing. Even the taskbar is centered so that apps appear in the middle of your screen where your eyes naturally go and that's then paired with the new search icon which brings up a floating search bar rather than an off-center box as it is in current version of windows. Again, this helps put the things that matter most to you front and center, a lot like Mac OS or Chrome OS and it is pretty neat. The second feature is the new animations. Windows 11 comes with fancy visuals moving windows around your screen for multitasking shows a glass like blurred effect in front of your wallpaper and touching the top of the window with your finger shows a new window outline helping you understand where it is going to go. Opening and closing apps, maximizing and minimizing windows, they all have new animations. Apps now minimize as they jump to the taskbar. They also have an effect where they open from the inside if you click the maximize button. It is new feel for the aging windows. And the third feature comes with a new way to multitask. One of the most common things people use in Windows is split screen apps. In Windows 11, Microsoft appears to have added a groups feature. If you hover over the maximize button, you will see 6 ways you can pair up your active windows with all other open windows. You can then click the button and create a group and Windows 11 will remember the combination. The fourth feature is improved touch control. Windows 11 brings some much needed changes by removing tablet mode entirely in favor of some smaller tweaks. Windows 11 makes it so that when you touch a window with your finger, you see a bigger representation of where it's moving. That makes it easier to use Windows if you have a tablet. Windows 11 also introduces a new keyboard. It has support for inserting GIF images and also shows a cleaner representation and has better sound feedback for when you touch keys. The fifth feature is fresh new sounds. Windows 11 finally changes things up with a new suite of sounds. The sounds cover a lot of frequent tasks and it is really refreshing. After sitting through 5 years of the same system noises, we demo the sounds for you above. The sixth feature comes here, which is dark mode. Dark mode was where Windows 10 always suffered. Switching to dark mode might not always change the way some system apps and settings pages look. Well, in Windows 11, Microsoft has tried to tweak that. There are still some areas that are not fully compatible with dark mode, but the way it looks on title bars. The taskbar and action center is really rejuvenating to the eyes. The seventh feature comes with rounded corners. 
Windows 11 swaps out the pointed corners for rounded ones. It is one of the most noticeable things in the operating system. And it also looks amazing. The edges of windows and apps now look a bit like what Apple did in macOS Big Sur. It is a lot softer on the eyes when paired with the right wallpapers. And the eighth feature comes with Refreshed Action Center. Microsoft has added some consistency to the overall under interface. You will see that Action Center now also has rounded corners and bigger slider buttons helping make button presses a lot easier. The way buttons are shaped in Action Center fit naturally with the tips of your fingers. The next feature is new icons. The Windows 11 release brings new icons for documents, downloads and pictures. As you navigate your way through the OS, you will see fresher icons. The 10th feature comes here. New ways to manage virtual desktops. Virtual desktops are also seeing an exciting change in Windows 11. Now the management of virtual desktops moves into a dedicated area at the bottom of the screen. You can even individually change the wallpaper on each virtual desktop and slide them left and right with your mouse and finger. It is more a natural and cohesive way of dealing with things. The 11th feature is widgets. When you click the widgets button in the taskbar, you will get thrown into a new UA that features the time and tiles with specific information. As Microsoft intended with news and interest in Windows 10, these widgets make getting information at a quick glance quite easy. There is no need to pull up your phone for tasks like checking the news, weather or traffic. It's all at your fingertips now. Thank you so much. See you next week.